Imagine an alien residing in the Pentagon for three years, undetected and influencing U.S. policy. Sounds like fiction, right? Meet Valiant Thor. Picture this. An extraterrestrial hailed from the planet Venus, living under the nose of the U.S. government between 1957 and 1960. This isn't the plot of a Hollywood sci-fi flick, it's the story of Valiant Thor. This enigma was introduced to the world by Dr. Frank Stranges in his book, Stranger at the Pentagon. Stranges spun a tale so extraordinary that it blurred the lines between reality and fantasy. According to him, Valiant Thor was not just an alien, but an influential figure in the Pentagon, shaping U.S. policy during his stay. But as with any tale of this magnitude, it's shrouded in controversy, sparking debate across the globe. Was Valiant Thor a genuine extraterrestrial, a covert government agent, or merely a figment of Stranges' imaginative world? So, who was Valiant Thor really, an extraterrestrial, a government agent, or a figment of imagination? The tale of Valiant Thor is a cocktail of facts, fictions, and speculations. This cosmic mystery has been stirring in the pot of public intrigue for decades with enough twists and turns to rival a Hollywood blockbuster. Let's start with the claims. According to some, Valiant Thor was a Venusian, an extraterrestrial hailing from the planet Venus, who supposedly landed on Earth in the late 1950s. He allegedly arrived on a mission of peace, offering advanced technology and wisdom to help humanity overcome its challenges. A bold assertion, you might say? Well, it gets bolder. Valiant Thor was also said to have walked the halls of the Pentagon, rubbing shoulders with top brass and influential figures for three years. Now, if you're picturing a green-skinned antenna-sporting alien, think again. This Venusian was described as an attractive, well-dressed gentleman, indistinguishable from an average Joe, a cosmic diplomat in a business suit, if you will. But then we have the counterclaims, the skeptics who argue that Valiant Thor was nothing more than a product of Cold War paranoia and sensationalism. They point to the lack of concrete evidence, the absence of any official records, and the unlikelihood of a Venusian passing off as a human. After all, Venus is a hellish world of scorching temperatures and crushing atmospheric pressure, hardly a conducive environment for life as we know it. Then there are those who suggest that the tale was merely a clever ruse, a science fiction yarn spun by contactees or even disinformation agents. They argue that in the height of the Cold War, the idea of a peaceful alien visitor could have been used to sway public opinion or distract from more earthly matters. So who's telling the truth? Is Valiant Thor a real-life Starman, or just a figment of our collective imagination? The truth, it seems, is as elusive as Valiant Thor himself. Despite the controversies, Valiant Thor left an indelible mark on pop culture and conspiracy theories. His story, shrouded in mystery, has become a cornerstone of UFOlogy. It has fueled speculation and debate amongst believers and skeptics alike. Its echoes reverberate in the numerous books, podcasts, and documentaries that explore the enigma of extraterrestrial life. The tale of Valiant Thor, the alleged Venusian living in the Pentagon, has been immortalized in films and comic books. It's a testament to our collective fascination with the unknown, our eagerness to believe in beings beyond our world. His story has not only permeated pop culture, but has also left a lasting legacy in the realm of conspiracy theories. It has spurred countless discussions, forums, and communities dedicated to unraveling the truth behind this enigmatic figure. So, whether fact or fiction, Valiant Thor continues to intrigue and inspire. His story is a fascinating lens through which we can explore our own relationship with mystery and the unknown. At the end of the day, the mystery of Valiant Thor remains unsolved, a puzzle that continues to bewilder. This enigma, shrouded in layers of intrigue, has been the focal point of our discussion. We've delved into the claims and counterclaims, the whispers of extraterrestrial life and government cover-ups, the echoes of a tale that refuses to fade away. Through this exploration, we've encountered a myriad of perspectives. Some believe Valiant Thor was an interstellar diplomat, a peace envoy from Venus. Others argue he's a figment of a fertile imagination or a carefully constructed government smokescreen. But despite these divergent viewpoints, one thing remains clear. The puzzle of Valiant Thor endures, inviting us to question, to probe, to seek out the truth. The enigma of Valiant Thor is a testament to the power of story, a challenge to our understanding of reality. So, what do you think? Is the tale of Valiant Thor an alien reality, a government cover-up, or a well-spun yarn? Share your thoughts in the comments below. That's our deep dive into the enigma of Valiant Thor. If you enjoyed this journey into the unknown, make sure to show some love. 
Don't forget to hit the like button, share this video, and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, keep questioning everything.